All right, how you guys doing? I'm George Owen. Welcome to Better Sports News. We took a two-week hiatus uh, from our biggest show ever. We had the largest viewing that we ever had when we have a live streaming show uh, with HPQualified.com. They had a huge contest. It was so, so exciting. It was the crown jewel event, $215,000 in cash and prizes, the largest HPQ Qualify contest ever in the history of online uh, horse racing tournaments, and it was a big success. My friend Brent Sumjo, one of the best gamblers in the country, not just in horse racing, but poker on uh, sports. He's just phenomenal. Had the lead till deep stretch and just got caught by one of our favorites, Sally Goodall. Sally Goodall and Richard Goodall. Of course, I love those two. They're in all the handicapping contests. They're wonderful people and wonderful handicappers. So they came in one, two. It was a very exciting and another very exciting contest coming up for HPQualified.com on the 18th. So it's coming up this Saturday. You definitely want to be a part of it. There's still some feeders available to get you in there cheap. But we think it's going to top six is going to be guaranteed top six prizes, top four guaranteed NHC spots or players challenge spots. And the last two, five and six, are going to get players challenge spots. So you definitely want to get involved. It's I think it's only $295 relatively cheap for the uh, spots that they're giving away. They're limiting it to 250 players. And if you've already qualified on the NHC twice and you finish in the top four, uh, then you'll get a player's challenge and it'll go down to the next guy. So we're definitely going to give away four NHC spots. It's going to be fantastic. Just go to horseplayersqualify.com or hpqualify.com and get involved. It's really going to be a spectacular event on July 18th. That's this Saturday at hpqualified.com. And we've had huge viewership, so we wanted to keep it rolling, but my partner Chappie, he's still on vacation. He'll be back next week. We'll be talking sports. Also, Fenix, and Fenix, you know, she's always getting into kind of crazy situations and bringing you fun facts with Fenix, so uh, we'll have her here next week as well. This week, of course, the big news for me was Tuesday was the ESPYs, and really sad that American Pharaoh did not win an SB. I was hoping that for sure, after 38 years without a Triple Crown winner, that American Pharaoh would take home an SB. It was not to be, but I'm sure American Pharaoh is going to win an Eclipse Award, and that's what we care about here in horse racing. So it's going to be very exciting to see American Pharaoh win the Eclipse Award. The FCSBs were, were, were quite entertaining. Uh, one of my favorites was when uh, uh, Ronda Rousey won, and uh, kind of uh, gave a dig there to uh, <laughs> Mayweather, saying, uh, he didn't know my name before. I think he's going to know who I am now. And uh, congratulations to her and to all the winners in the ESPYs. It was quite exciting. Uh, quite exciting is the fact that we are going to have live racing now at Del Mar. What a cool place to go visit. Uh, and it started today. It goes uh, until we start again here at beautiful Santa Anita, the great race place. And I can't wait to be back here home with the horses racing in Santa Anita. I love this. We're coming to you live from Santa Anita. And uh, it is definitely a great place to, to bet on Del Mar. If you can't get down to, uh, to Del Mar over there, you can come here and bet. We have simulcasting open Thursday through Sunday. So come here to Santa Anita if you can. And also another sponsor I want to talk about is the Thoroughgraph Sheets. The Thoroughgraph Sheets, I use it all the time to uh, do my handicapping selection, of course. I've hit a lot of pick fives right on this show, and we're going to get to my pick five selections for Saturday at Del Mar. But uh, definitely I want to thank everybody involved at HPQualify.com. Kevin, Lee, congratulations to Sally Goodall and to Brent Sumjun, to all the winners in the uh, Crown Jewel event. And uh, hopefully you guys will play on the 18th on the, H8, on the NHC and the Players Challenge contest that's going on. Only $295 to join, so join that. All right, well, uh, we are definitely going to get into Del Mar, and i got to get my glasses because I can't really see. And we're going to talk about the pick five, which is our favorite bet. I, I love betting the pick five. So does Chappie. It's uh, one week. I hit three out of four pick fives in the week. So I've had some great success, and hopefully we'll have some success as well. So let's go over the card for Saturday. The first race is a $25,000 claimer. They're going a mile. My pick five ticket is going to be 60 bucks. It's going to be 60 bucks. And we're going to start off with four horses. Mr. Cartagena, who I think 
could possibly be the speed of the race and uh, was just claimed recently by Van Belvoir. I think he's going to run big. Dynamite Ride ran a winning race last time. Uh, just got beat by Highway Boss, but definitely is going to uh, run better. And I think it's going to be right there with Tyler Bays, one of them you have to include. And the two Doug O'Neill horses, a fleet in time with uh, Bejarano, who won the first race at Del Mar. So Bejarano starting off on the right foot over there at uh, Del Mar and Papa Cade. So both uh, Doug O'Neill's we're using. So we're going one, two, four, six in race number one at Del Mar. Race number two, I thought was a, a much tougher race. I'm using five horses. Uh, including Macho Sox, who won convincingly last time. It was claimed by Peter Miller for one of our favorite owners, Rockingham Ranch. And uh, good luck to Macho Sox. I uh, don't care who ran two back, a great thoroughgraph number, a great number. If he runs that number, they're running for second. He ran a great number, uh, was claimed by John Sadler. I don't care who is definitely one that you have to use. And then uh, we're also going to be using uh, the four, five, and six. So we're going one, three, four, five, and six in race number two. Race number three comes a situation where I've heard some really, really good things about number five, Kelly with a twist. Kelly with a twist. Every horse in this race is a first-time starter. They've never run. And I think the one, Tows on Ice, Bob Bafford, is going to get all the money. He's going to be the overwhelming favorite, obviously working really well. But I heard a lot of good things about Kelly with a twist. And Rockin' Bayou is also a sneaky first-time starter that I'd like to use. So I'm going to try to beat the favorite in race number three. I'm going with Kelly with a twist out of the Doug O'Neill barn and Rockin' Bayou, uh, Jeff Mullins trains. So two horses that I think have big chances to upset the favorite so that, that our pick five will pay well. I don't think they can beat the favorite in race number four. It's Midnight Storm. Phil D'Amato, uh, I think, is just going to do phenomenal. Mike Mitchell always did well at Del Mar, and I think Phil D'Amato is just going to keep that streak alive. Midnight Storm is just running great. He bobbled last time at the start and still just got nipped by Talco, who got a perfect trip that day to just nip Midnight Storm. I think Midnight Storm is going to get the lead and is going to be really hard to beat. He's a single in the Eddie Reed. It's a grade one. Uh, mile on an eighth is right up his alley. I think he's uh, is going to be really, really tough to beat on the lead. Of course, Finnegan's Wake uh, is, always puts in a big close. He had some trouble last time at Santa Anita on the dirt now to turf his best his best you know surface but I think he, he might need a little bit longer so I think Finnegan's Wake although I respect him I think Midnight Storm is a single and the last race uh, I love these made in $20,000 claimers because uh, especially using the thoroughgraph sheets really there's some horses that just don't seem like they could possibly win and others uh, seem like they're the horses to beat and in this race there's three horses that seem to have the best numbers where the other ones just don't seem to have numbers quite as good. So I'm going to use the two quality chimes, the six sailors cry and the seven sweet Ms. Poppet. So three horses are going to be using to hopefully uh, close out the pick five and, and take it home for you guys as well. So here's my ticket. It's one, two, four, six with one, three, four, five, six with five, seven with three with two, six, seven. It's a $60 bet at Del Mar. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching. We're going to be back next week. I'm going to be back here with Fenix, with my man Chappie. We're going to go over, of course, the pick five at Del Mar, as we always do. We're going to talk about sports, maybe talk about JPP of the Giants. How crazy was that? Fireworks that he blew off his index finger. Oh, my goodness. How many times have we been told as children to not play with fireworks? Here's a guy who's about to sign a deal for something like $60 million, and uh, he'll have problems signing that now. Uh, we're going to be talking about that. Of course, baseball. I think that Chappie actually went to Chicago and saw Cubs games live. So we will talk about that as well. He loves the Cubs. He loves baseball. So we'll talk a lot about baseball, football, and of course, horse racing. I want to thank all of our sponsors. Of course, the great race place, Santa Anita, which we are filming from live right here. This is a beautiful place to come for simulcasting. And once we start at the end of September, a great place to come out here and enjoy the races live. I want to thank HPQualify.com. Kevin and Lee and everybody and all the players at HPQualify.com who have given me so much love through the years and especially with this last live feed that we did from Santa Anita when we uh, televised live the Crown Jewel. I got a lot of feedback. We got almost 400 views. It was really fantastic. So thank everybody at HPQualify.com and thank everybody at uh, the Thoroughgraph Sheets. Thoroughgraph Sheets for sale here in our gift shop once we go live. So definitely get those. It's everything you need to win. Hopefully you guys will be winners at uh, opening week at Del Mar. And we'll be back next week here on Better Sports News. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you next week.
I'll be back with Chappie and Fenix. Thank you, Don. Thank you, John. Don, John, son. Don Johnson. All right, Miami Vice. Good night.